The way that I will re-enter a position after I've been shaken out is to wait for a fresh setup to occur. Now, there's a variety of setups that, that we could use, and we don't want to look at every single potential setup, right? Like the, the types of ways that you could enter a position really are infinite. What you want to do is have a certain type of setups that you use, right? Well, like uh, maybe you have a dozen setups that, that you use. Uh, maybe you're looking at, if you're like me, I'm looking at cup with handles, flat bases, double bottoms, flags, pennants, things like that. Uh, your, your classic uh, patterns uh, that you've probably read about all over YouTube or Instagram or wherever it is that you're watching this, right? Uh, there, there's only the, like so many consolidations, but there's lots of ways that you could enter a trade. So I'm looking for those kind of setups, right? So let's say I'm in this trade and the, it breaks out, that setup fails. Great. I'm not looking to get into that trade just because it retakes the point that I entered and then it, it starts running, right? Like I'm treating that as that setup failed. Right? Like, I'm not trying to force that idea to work. I'm moving on to the next thing. And if that one that I was originally in sets up again in some pattern that I'm looking at, then great. Then I will revisit that trade. But until then, there's... Uh, listen, the, the market is an infinite stream of opportunity, right? If the market is an infinite stream of opportunity, why do we need to focus on this one trade? And, and I entered this trade and it shook me out, so I'm going to make sure that if it does start to run back up, I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to get back. No, right? The market is an infinite stream of opportunity. So if this one shakes me out, great. Move on to the next one. If that one shakes me out, great. Then move on to the next one. The idea is to work our systems over again and again and again. And it's the same thing as if we are... Uh, don't have the, oh, there it is. All right, so let's say, let's say you have a coin, right? And you're going to play heads or tails. And if you flip it and it lands on heads, then you get paid three bucks. But if it lands on tails, you lose a dollar, right? Amazing game. You play that all day long, right? But what happens if you flip the coin five times in a row and it lands on tails? And what happens if you flip it 10 times in a row and it lands on tails? Would you throw the coin in the garbage and say that the game is rigged? No, right? Because you know that if you flip this coin 100 times, chances are it's going to be pretty close to 50-50 and you're going to come out way ahead, right? You need to think of your trading the same way. You don't need to chase this one trade just because it shook you out. Wait for the right setup to be there and then go in on that trade. Wait for the setup, then execute.